dear kids in this session we are taking how to construct angle bisector okay so you all know that what is the meaning of bisector which divides anything into two equal parts so here we are going to divide angle in two equal parts means we are going to bisect it so for that we must have one angle so here i am drawing one angle that is 60 degree for example i have drawn 60 degree angle how would we draw you know using protractor here is 60 degree angle will be formed and i am drawing angle 60 so here we get two arcs and the rays oa and ob choosing these rays we got aob angle 60 degree now today we'll write steps of construction as well as with the construction so i'm going to write steps of construction so first step of construction would be take the angle you want to divide okay draw an angle to be divided okay then second step of construction would be we have to measure the angle which we have drawn so how do we measure you know with this i give full arc from this point to this point first of all give arc to this point to this point both of the rays then measure the angle how would we measure from this point and this is the second point so second step of construction would be measure the angle using compass okay so second construction step would be measure the angle using compass okay and with the measurement that we have measured we will give arc from both of the end points so this is the first end point of the angle and this is the second end point of the angle so here we got two arcs which have cut together so third step of construction would be with the measurement give arcs from both end points of the angle the same we have done with the end points of the angle we have given arcs okay fourth point will be we'll get a point o1 okay we'll get a point o1 fifth point will be first of all o1 we'll get the point o1 and we'll join the points we join the points o and o1 so here i am joining the points o and o1 
Here I have joined the points O1 and O. The same I am going to write. The step of construction is join. Sorry, join the points O, O1. Like this you can write. So, six point, this is the ray you got. You can name the ray wheel get a ray named O C O C O C we got. So you can see that this angle that we got this angle is of measurement that is 30 degrees and this angle will also be of 30 degrees. So we can say 7th point will be COB and COA are angle COB and angle COA are of 30 degree. Hence, we have bisected the angle AOB. Thank you.